Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, was released in 1925. This has to be one of the most famous films in cinema history. It's been remade several times. Of course, we know the 1950s version with Charlton Heston. Funny thing, <laughs> this version, the 1925 version with Ramon Navarro, is a remake. <laughs> Yeah, uh, in 1907 is when the first film for this story was made, and um, only bits and pieces survive, I believe just the chariot race and one other scene exists anymore. So, um, but this is based off of an 1880 novel by General Lew Wallace. I actually have the novel. I've read it. It's not a bad read. The novel was popular in its day and became a stage play that ran for 22 years. Um, in 1922, the film rights were purchased, which was two years after the play's last tour. Um, now, one thing that I do want to say is I've noticed that a lot of people confuse <laughs> uh, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, Play, when they hear that it was a play, they seem to think that it is uh, Passion's Play, which was also that movie, which was based off of the movie of Passions of the Christ, which was that Mel Gibson movie. No, they're <laughs> completely different. Passion's Play has been around since like the medieval period. Now, <laughs> Ben-Hur's only been around since the 1880s. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Two totally different and, um, but anyway, uh, Ramon Navarro, surprisingly, was not originally cast for Ben-Hur. Uh, George Walsh was originally cast. Uh, they were on location in Italy, and he was fired. Mm, it's unclear why. I couldn't find any information as to why. But, um, he was fired, and Ramon Navarro was hired. And, um, now originally they were trying to make it completely, I, I believe they were trying to make it completely authentic because they were on location in Rome and then they had to change to California. I'm sure there was like budget because this was the most expensive film of the silent era. Some people try to say it was not. A lot of sources that I have seen <laughs> Say it was and when you watch it yeah <laughs> it it was in fact the most I mean they were putting out all the stops for this particular film I mean the chariot race alone yeah it's like the most iconic of any film I mean for gosh sakes George Lucas used it in Phantom Menace I remember sitting in the theater watching the Phantom Menace and I I'm like, this is, this is a cherry race for Ben-Hur. <laughs> and I remember he tried to deny it and just couldn't anymore. <laughs> but it has been referenced in other movies. So, you know, I don't know why he tried to deny it. So, and uh, there are Technicolor scenes. Um, and basically, those are... The moments when um, Jesus shows up. Now, it never actually shows Jesus. You just know that the divine is there, you know, and so that's why the the Technicolor scenes show up. And um, so, yeah. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the story, uh, in a nutshell, basically, uh, Ben Hur is. A well-known soldier and then he loses everything and he is thrown into slavery and he has to basically um, uh, prove himself again so he works his way back up and, and everything I mean he loses faith in everything and that's pretty much why he crosses paths with Jesus and everything it's kind of helping him to um, regain faith and and that 
that's kind of the point of the story. And uh, he, he is separated from his family. He, he at some point finds his family again and everything. It's, and, um, but yeah, the, the chariot race is, is the most iconic one of the, I mean, they have talked about that several times over. I mean, it seems like every decade they talk about the, the chariot race. They always bring up the chariot race in every single film. And, um, interesting thing about the chariot race in this, um, in the 1925 version is that there are other uh, famous people in film, such as like uh, Gary Cooper is a soldier. I mean, you can't really see them, but they're, they're there. Like Mary Pickford's there, Douglas Fairbanks is there. And um, I believe Charlie Chaplin is in there. I'll of course have the full list in, in the description for you. I mean, it's just all these different people were there. They were actually there to watch the, sh the, um, the filming and they ended up in the film. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah. And, uh, now this film, I mean, it was such a hit. I mean, and it also helped uh, Carmel Myers. I, I believe that's how you say her name. She, of course, played kind of a, a vamp. And, uh, yeah, she, she plays the uh, e Egyptian heiress, I think is what her whole... Cause, like an Egyptian princess. And uh, so she's there to watch the chariot race, and she's flirting with everybody, trying and and all that. And so, um, but anyway, so yeah, it, it helped her career, and because uh, of this movie, and and uh, pretty much everybody who showed up in this movie, it helped their career. It especially helped Ramon Navarro, <laughs> and. Um, but box office earnings for this film were not surpassed for at least another 25 years. Uh, that's pretty impressive. And um, it was re-released in 1931. It, there was an added musical score and sound effects. And, um, so, and, and they used to do that quite a bit, especially when the talkie era started. So... Um, I'm not surprised that, that they did that. And so, um, anyway, so, yeah, I mean, the, the Technicolor scenes, basically with the, like I said, you don't really see who plays Jesus. It, it's more of like a, a divine thing and, and everything he's showing up and, Chariot scene is iconic, one of the most iconic in <laughs> cinema history. And uh, this movie, when you watch it, yeah, it, it is, well, I mean, it's been remade so many times. Another point to make is there were at least three um, people that were in this movie that ended up in the Charlton Heston version. I believe Ramon Navarro was in it and uh, Carmel was in it. And I can't remember the other one, but I will put it in the description below for you. But, yeah, I mean, uh, it's based off of 18, an 1880 novel by General Lou Wallace. I have read the novel. I, I actually found it and I bought it. <laughs> and uh, well worth the read and, and everything. And um, so that's... Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, released in 1925.